Hey, this is David for Big Bits. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the new updates on TradingView, including the anchored VWAP, a uh, new expanded arrow for the drawing tools, and then there's also a couple of other things, such as the ability to set an expiration on users' permissions on their indicators, and also uh, just a new setting on hiding and showing the market status. So we'll go over all this in just a moment, but. I think most people who are going to watch this video are going to be looking for the angered VWAP. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And they do have a blog post for this. All of these are coming from the what's new area on trading view here. So you can check out all of that there on the website, but the anchored VWAP, it does a pretty good job of explaining it, but essentially it's going to allow you to select a spot on the chart and then it's going to calculate the volume weighted average price from that point forward. So, uh, the built-in VWAP indicator that's on here kind of resets at the end of the day and basically a new VWAP constantly but the anchored VWAP is a little bit different now let me add the volume back onto this chart so you get kind of an idea of what's going on as far as uh, where the prices might be weighted a little bit more heavily. So there was a lot of volume down here, and since the price is volume weighted, the moving average is volume weighted, you're gonna notice that this is gonna have a large impact on the actual VWAP value. So let's actually start back here. All you have to do is click on the part on the chart. And you notice that the price went down quickly here on a lot of volume. So that moved that VWAP very quickly down because the volume weighted average price was heavily affected by the high volume on this decrease in price. And you'll notice it's also kind of holding that VWAP down because during the entire duration of the VWAP, the values or the candles that have the most volume also have the most impact on the VWAP throughout this period. So you'll notice that the price has a hard time climbing back up, even though uh, it looks like more days on this chart have actually traded above the current VWAP uh, and there's fewer days below it since there's more volume below it that's why the v VWAP is lower than that if you were to actually take the average price since that one then you'd be able to see something a little bit different and in fact let me actually show you what a moving average would look like for that Let's take just a moment. Let's change this period out to a 100. So that's getting pretty close. Let's do 120. That should be even closer. That's too much. 110. That's about the same. That's close enough. So you can see a simple moving average from about the same point is much higher. But because the volume weighted the average price on the blue line with that indicator, it's bringing its value much lower than the actual moving average itself. So I'll go ahead and close out that moving average. And with the volume weighted average price with this drawing tool that you can find over here, you can actually adjust this just by changing the location of your anchor or your start point for the VWAP. So if we wanted to go back all the way and anchor this back here, you notice the VWAP is much higher because a lot of the volume comes from above uh, these values down here. So that's actually a pretty cool tool, it's very useful for a lot of people. Now I'm gonna have and remove that from the chart. And the other thing that they have added is the arrow marker, which is kind of nice. There are arrows on there already, but this one is pretty, uh, pretty bold. It stands out quite a bit as you can see up here. And of course, like some of the other drawing tools, it has it to where you can actually add text to it as well. So I'll go ahead and show you that here in just a moment. So let's go back here to that kind of parabolic phase on Bitcoin. Let's draw an arrow and then to add text to it, it's pretty simple. Click on your settings for your drawing tool and you can add your text there. So it's a uh, pretty simple, it's uh, very bold. So if you're drawing your ideas and you're sharing your charts on TradingView, this is a pretty good one to actually highlight and put emphasis on directions with the arrow or maybe just to call out a particular spot. So that one is also neat. Now the ability to add an expiration to a user's access to an indicator is something really doesn't concern everybody, but for the people who are subscribing to other people's indicators and you're paying for that, uh, 
now what's going to happen is the person who is managing that for you, who is granting you the access, can also uh, basically ex explicitly state here when your permission for that indicator ends. And if you want to keep it up for those particular people, you'll have to probably keep paying for those people. But uh, other people, maybe they'll want to share their indicator with you, but maybe only for a little while. So this will work well for them. And that is, I believe, for people with premium level access. But yes, if you can invite somebody to see your script, you should have that example. And finally, the last one is the market status. And this just basically shows you if the market is open, closed, trading or not. And this one's really simple. Uh, as you can see here with Bitcoin, there's this nice green dot that shows the market is open. You can actually just right click anywhere on this line and you'll notice it has all the same options, but you can just uncheck show open market status and that green dot's no longer there. It doesn't really bother me, but it might bother you sometimes if it's showing up on there. And you can also find that from your actual settings for the chart on the status line and just uncheck show open market status there and that'll take care of that. But I believe that is all for this particular video. If you like the video or you're interested in VWAP or any of that stuff, please leave a like on the video. Or if you have any questions, leave a comment on the video itself. I'll try and get back, back with you as soon as I can. Otherwise, while you're down there, just please subscribe. I almost forgot to ask you to subscribe. That's something I like to do every time because if you've watched till the end of the video, hopefully you like the content and you'll want to come back and watch more. But that is it now. And thank you and have a great day.